Good afternoon, everybody. This is the daily video update for Wednesday, July 8th, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. We've been talking for much of this week about the relationship between institutional Christianity and Unitarian Universalism. I want to come back to, to one of the last points that the question uh, the questioner asked me uh, at the beginning of the week, which is this. I think of Christianity as being synonymous with Trinitarianism and the belief in the infallibility of the Bible. That's a, that's a fair observation, given the images of Christianity we most often come across. But here's a passage of a book that I read recently. The belief that the Bible is the unique revelation of God, containing the literal words of God and defining faith as a set of beliefs that are required now for the sake of heaven later, is not only indefensible, but socially, politically, and now environmentally fatal. Here's the part that I'm afraid we miss in Unitarian Universalist circles. That quote wasn't written by a sociologist of religion. It wasn't written by one of the new atheists critiquing organized religion. It wasn't written by a Unitarian Universalist. It was written by Robin Myers, the minister at Mayflower Congregational Church in Oklahoma City. And it's required reading at a Christian seminary whose institutional culture was recently summed up as roads have middles for a reason. I bring that up because often we can see any large institution as a monolith. Think, for example, of the range of opinions on any given topic within Unitarian Universalism. To take one very simple and recent example, there are folks within our denomination who have dedicated their whole lives to making Unitarian Universalism institutionally pacifist. And there are folks in our denomination who have dedicated their whole lives to serving as military chaplains and raising awareness of the needs and strengths military families bring to our congregations. There are about 150,000 Unitarian Universalists worldwide. There are 2.5 billion Christians. So within that 2.5 billion, there are a lot of different points of view. You can say Christianity believes X and, and the range of X is incredibly wide. So yes, there are Christians who believe that the Bible is in all ways infallible. And there are Christians who believe that anything other than their conception of the Trinity is heresy. And there are Christians who are very much Unitarians and Universalists who do not believe the Trinity is central to their faith. Tomorrow we're, we're going to talk a little bit about how Unitarianism and Universalism both came out of and, and were informed by their Christian traditions. And then we'll close out the week by talking a little bit about the Unitarian Universalist Christian Fellowship that carries some of that work forward today.